In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the workload analysis feature provided in the ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.7 release. This feature is especially useful to those who like to troubleshoot storage-related issues reported by a user, to more thoroughly analyze a reported event or alert, or to explore a workload that we see is operating abnormally. The workload analysis feature is well integrated throughout a product, and it's very simple for users to access this feature through different product pages. There are several ways to do it. The most obvious way is clicking on the workload analysis button on the left column. By providing a workload name and specifying a range of time you would like to see. The Unified Manager 9.7 will display several charts against the timeline. Every chart in this page is interactive. Let's make an example. We can access each event by clicking on the symbol, and it will display the time that an event occurred, and clicking on View Details will take us to the detailed event page. If we need to understand the components of the latency data at a certain timestamp, we can specify if we would like to see the breakdown of latency types, cluster component, read write, or total. Once we move the cursor over the chart, it will break down the latency details for us. If we need to mask out certain type of latency on the chart, we can click on its name in the legend field. Same mechanism applies to the performance, node utilization, and capacity trend charts. You may also notice that ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.7 also provides us the forecast data. Each prediction of the 24-hour window is based on the previous 15 days of data. If you are already in the workload page, you can also access the workload analysis feature by moving the cursor over the performance view and click on Analyze Workload. It will take you directly to the analyzer and show you the workload you chose. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode of ActiveIQ Unified Manager 9.7.